is not so lifeless, your nerves not so deadened that you cannot express shock. Tell me, child, is my appearance that frightening, or is it my knowledge of you that is so unnerving? Ah, you see the truth of things, don't you, child of Malkav? Blessed with your beastly visions, you are shown that the Sabbat are the only true heirs to the legacy of our Dark Father. Do not test me, young one. In time, you will know the wisdom and power of the children of Cain. Your flesh shall serve as my instrument of instruction. Oh yes, the tape. Merely a test. Certainly not intended to fall into mortal hands. Fortunately, we are in a capital of mortal trickery and illusion. So did the tape drive you to find me? From whence flows your longing, child? To gouge out the eyes of the Camarilla. The sewers are clogged with my creations. I will kill or drive the Nosferatu from their pestilent nests. Without the sewer rats to guide them, the Camarilla will be blind to the Sabbat's designs. It is not for me. It's for the will of the Sabbat. The Camarilla is stunted. Dead and festering in the womb, good only as pawns of the fathers. Even now, they answer the call of the ancient and seek to free him from his torpor. He slumbers within the uncurrent sarcophagus, one of the fathers whose return shall hearken the reckoning. Guhena is at hand, and the Camarilla are unwittingly speeding us all toward our doom. Blessed creatures, I have broken through their mortal crust and drawn from them their greatest strength, mutability. I coax bone, weave flesh, and lay sinew tight until it strains to lash out. Illegals, mongrels, half-bloods, and caitiff, the bane of society, kindred and kin. They are as of little consequence to authority as they are to me. It is a culling of sorts. Perhaps, but they are exquisitely functional. Still, there's an uncanny elegance to even this, my most mercenary of designs. Not too much for those of us able to give the gift of metamorphosis, young one. I know you have a cold appreciation for the aesthetic of my creations. I see all and longing in your eyes. Now, Camarilla Welp, let me see you fight your nature in the face of those who have embraced their beast. Deny yourself Cain's gifts and be torn asunder by my minions.
evening. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then.
<laughs> oh, you did not just try and run a trace on me. All right, take that. Oh, yeah, 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 I hope you backed on that server tonight. Boss is gonna be real pissed when his mom starts getting love letters from porn sites. <sighs> what? Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow, you really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Huh? Tango? <laughs> you came to the wrong place for dance lessons. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot you're Malkavian. And you got more than a few bugs in the software, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry, but uh, that's a tech problem I can't fix. Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnick. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? The crazy boy. Surprised you actually made it down here. <laughs> yeah, he knows why you're here. The Croys must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> Go ahead. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> Go ahead. What, the Warrens? Not much to tell. Just a bunch of us living down here, trying to stay off the radar. It ain't pretty, but it's home. Gary's the big man on campus. He's running the show. There's more of us than you'd think. They're around. But you won't see too many of the brood down here. But they'll be watching you. <laughs> Go ahead. Me? Like I said, I'm I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep a pulse on the street, and at the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the sh the net network. <laughs> no, nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. Yeah, yeah you, you do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way and make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. <laughs> Uh, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene. <laughs> 
She'd still be a fluff girl at vivisection, making ten bucks a stiffy if I was still around. <sighs> what? Oh, no, you've got to be kidding! You're a Malkavian? Gary actually lets you guys in here? My day just went from bad to coach class. Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. Do you know she got model of the year? Before I got here, she would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Imalia. Last name? God, that's so blue collar it makes me want to puke. I don't have a last name. Imalia's a look, an attitude, a state of being. Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it. Which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. Spare me your head shrink bullshit. You've got no idea what I'm going through here. I mean, I can't sit here and let the world think she's better than me. I've got to do something. I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in the business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big, fat ass. I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into her computer using the password Cleopatra. From there, you'll be able to activate the cameras. Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. Take that, too. By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. 
Maybe I killed the voice in your head, boss. Tell me, the voice in your head, why are you down here? You can trust me, boss. Think carefully. Who are you here for, and why? You lost, boss. I'll show you the cards I've been dealt. But you put yours on the table first. You may be on to something, boss. Or maybe you're still talking to yourself. Insanity isn't given enough credit. The insane know not what they do. Do you? I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. <laughs> Liar, liar, pants on fire. You can't kill what you can't see. Try to kill me? The knight's got a thousand eyes, boss, and all of them are mine. You wouldn't like it, being watched every second of the rest of your short life. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the Prince. Because I like the sound of my own voice. It's not every day we get visitors, boss. I needed to hear it from you. You're a long way from home, and neither the Prince, nor Isaac, nor Nines have any domain down here. Tread carefully. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. I like to discuss business face to face. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> Behind you, boss. Boo! What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. A little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than May West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Oh, is he still calling the shots upstairs? How long do you think that will last? Heard he was furious. Wish I could have been there. Well, I'll be a sport. I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart.
You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown. I'll give you what you need. Hey, save yourself some time, boss. You've got no bargaining power. I know Prince Pris is breathing down your neck every second you keep him from his prize. Close your mouth, chew on the resentment, and open your ears. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. <laughs> Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Let's see what I got. Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods. But not if you're smart. Forget it, boss. It's Chinatown. Let's see what I got. Use your... Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. Miss me, boss? Evening. Here. And thanks again for your help earlier. And remember what I told you about LaCroix. You're good, kid. He doesn't deserve you. 